Hello everyone. I'll just do a um, little update. It's the uh, 4th of October. I've been very busy over the last month and a half with all the shows and stuff. So my garden's kind of been neglected. But this week I've, I've been on um, late shift so I've had plenty of time to get on with the garden and start to tidy it up and prep it for the winter. Um, I tend not to plant a lot of over over winter veg well I haven't done in the past but I've got a few little bits and bobs in the polytone which I want to just transfer it outside once I take the cover off the polytone um, I have invested in uh, irrigation system not here an irrigation system Gardena irrigation system it's, um, I think it's going to be money well spent but we'll see when it when it comes to the um to the crunch of using it i, I have been spending about 45 minutes a day watering the watering the plot but with the irrigation system it's gonna gain us about 30 minutes a day back so i'll spend 15 minutes watering the general veg and bits other bits and bobs but the daily has is taking up the bulk of my time which is time what i could be spending elsewhere in the garden so um that's it for the minute we're gonna have a walk around so i'll start at the top of the garden um i managed to acquire some timbers from work quite quite decent timbers i got 15 and 12. that's gonna um start us off with the the daily cover that i'm gonna construct over the winter and um, probably best part of my new onion and leek trench i'm gonna um onion and leek tunnel i'm gonna build um see how that goes I've got, a, I've got a little plan but it's actioning over the winter. Uh, sprouts are doing okay, a bit of caterpillar damage but the frost will see them away. Um, I'm going to put some canes in to support them. Daily as, just waiting for the for the final frost to to see them off but um, they've done very very well for us this, this year. Um, I'm going to have a go at, this is John, John Hall or John Hill, giant dahlia. Um, I got off Jason. This this is the one I'm going to grow next year. I'm going to do with what Alf, Alf Ramsey. I've had a lot of bother with different coloured petals in them, so the stock's no good, but obviously it's decent stock from Jason because you only got decent stuff. Um, so I'll be growing plenty of that next year. Get plenty of cuttings off them. Um, another couple. This is clock face, meaning clock face. If you see from the side, it's, it's sort of standing upright as it should be at 45 degree angle so no good no good for us too much hard work to get it right um this one's a nice one nice very nice um potatoes the last of me potatoes in pots these are 30 litre pots filled with compost um bit bit fertilizer in it seemed to be bulging bulging at the side so i should have some decent potatoes in there and um, the varieties are more I'll do a potato reveal in another video later on. See what I get out of them. Um, kale. Plenty of kale. We really like kale in our family. It's quite in a quiet taste, but it's strong and it's good for you, so carry on growing that. Um, this bread, I've just stripped the giant cabbage out of it. Um, it was 19 kilo. Full of holes. Didn't cover it. Um, different, I think I'm going to change this one. This will set up here yeah, next year. This is where I grew my carrots in. Um, for Kevin's benefit, Kevin Moore's benefit, um, obviously mark it out. You get about 40, 40 to 50 in this bed. Mark it out. Um, pull the sand out with a with a bit of drain pipe and fill it full of fine compost. To put a couple of seeds in. Then hope for the best the frost doesn't come i normally sow mid april early if i can but mid april it'll take about 20 22 weeks to to become anything decent um this was the parsnip bed I've done very well again and um, had some decent long parsnips out bed the bed heights about three and a half foot plus the top i, I think i'm going to put another another timber on and raise it up again also join them together um, so I can get three 
so I'll get me parsnips on the right, long people in the middle, then long carrots on the left. Hopefully, you see how that goes. Um, just in the planning process at the minute. I've stripped two beds out, uh, just dug them over, took the weeds out, and um, prep, prep for the winter. I'll be putting them. Um, cow manure on in the next couple of weeks November once everything's died back I'll, I'll start and put manure on over the winter let that sink in and then ro turn it over and rotate it in the in the spring before plant now and um, dahlias this is mainly carol as you see everything's just at its at its end at the moment just waiting for the frost so the fr first frost will hit kill the top foliage um, and then it'll sort of drop down to the tube, it'll all go dark, look horrible um, and then I, I'm going to leave it as long as possible but keep an eye on the weather because you don't want a hard frost hitting it because it'll then kill the tuber so once the foliage has died back there's nothing protecting the tuber so just a matter of a couple of weeks waiting still some lovely flowers on it still getting I'm start, sort of rotating it, pinks, pinks and whites one day, oranges and yellows another. So a good few buckets of flowers every every well every day if I want to do. Um, friends and family around been taking the pickings in the garden. There's some lovely ones on there. Um, pot chuvas. I don't know what to do. Yeah, um, I've got I've got a plan, but I'm still still undecided. But as you can see. They're all starting to dampen off and die at the back, so just waiting for the frost. This bit here, um, my old greenhouse, yeah, my new greenhouse, very new greenhouse. I have a plan of extending the dahlia bed all the way down to here. Um, I'll make it 10 metres long, so two beds 10 metres long. Um, should get near enough 90 to 100 plants in there but see how it goes. I don't want to squeeze them too tight because the tighter they are the chances are less quality so I'm going for quality so better spacing than squeezing as many as I can in um, into the tunnel got a good clean up in here as you can see um, last time I was in it was an absolute dive um, I planted some spring cabbage in I'm contemplating whether to leave it in um, before we get an early crop maybe it's around Christmas time but as soon as the cold nights start to come in even, even stronger the layer will start to slow down but there, there seems to be more on but we've had some unusually hot weather um, but it seems like it's set to change but we'll see how that goes um, onto the leeks these are the leeks that have put back the seed um, so I've got an intermediate on the left, it seems to be doing really well for size, the size of that, that's going to be a nice one for the pop back to see. Um, two Yorkshire Giants, need to get us some pork in, two Short Cumbrians and two Betty Blacks. These have been given by, by a friend, Nick Wrighton, um, top league grower. Um, he was second in the Blythe Open Show, not this year, but last year, with their uh, two, two or well, three cracking leaks. Yeah, it was three cracking leaks. So, hoping to get some decent one, decent grass off that. Um, plan for the tunnel is to extend this bed all the way down to the bottom, so it gives us the full two, two lengths to, to grow leaks in. Um, I'm gonna move this, this, sand bed outside um, and increase the outside growing space because it didn't really have very good quality carrots growing them inside the tunnel I don't know why but they just, they just didn't perform as good as the ones outside um, this soil in the, in the three containers here is just going to be tipped into the into the new trench it's John in its compost so it's decent stuff I'll be sterilising I've, I've already partly sterilised but the covers coming off the polytunnel is as you can see it's got a big tear on the side off somebody vandalising it but it'll be coming off so in the next couple of weeks still getting carrots 
some nice little carrots in with a recycling tub. And these are the old Christmas potatoes. Um, they'll be moved into the greenhouse um, when the frost starts to come. Maybe it's a couple of weeks time. I'll just keep an eye on the weather. When the weather turns, I'll be putting them inside. And this shed is coming down. It's going over my dad's. Um, the chicken runs coming down. You know, I'm going to build a, a new timber framed plastic onion house. So plastic cover over a timber frame. Be quite big. Um, maybe six, seven meters long if I can get it that long. But the only problem I'm going to have is finding the soil to fill it, fill up the trenches. But I'll cross that bridge when I come over. Um, into the greenhouse. I've turned my heater on now. So it's starting to get nice and warm. Um, I've sowed two trays of tough balls. Uh, these are for sure. Um, 60 seeds in there. I'm thinking about sowing an extra one in there. Um, I'm going to move these two trays down my dad's into the cold greenhouse and keep this single one just as a comparison in the heated greenhouse to see what the difference is. Um, I've never done it before, so see how it goes. These are the leeks. They're either a Cumbrian cross or a Cumbrian. Um, I got the seed head given by, by a good friend. Um, just said just have a go over it. They're from they're from good quality stock so I can he says you can't go wrong as long as you'll find out when when they start to come up. Um so see how they get on over the over the course of the next few months. Two onions. I'm gonna put this one back as a quality. It's nice nice shape, it's got got very short. Um it's quite big so I'm gonna put that back to see try and grow as a quality but see see what happens. Um, this is this was from the eight pounder. Um, big, big on it. I'm gonna put it back the seed, but I've got some seed from Peter Glazebrook. Um, he was kind enough to send us some, um, and I've obviously got to got to be friends with him. Obviously on Facebook, uh, messaging him, seeing him at the shows. Lovely bloke. Sent us some seeds, so I'm gonna have a go at his next year. I've got a hydroponic set up in the shed out the back of my house, so I'll be putting them in there. Um, end of October, beginning of November. I'll do two so on, so let's see, let's see how they go. Um, I've stocked up on all my fertilizers for for over the winter to fill my trenches up. Um, fertilizing compost. So these are my garlic. Um, they'll be going in maybe it's tomorrow. As you can see, the size of the the cloves in the bulb is absolutely ginormous. This is not that. That is mint. It's huge. Um, I'm gonna grow these three, and maybe these two, but this smaller one. So this one here is elephant garlic as well, but um, it's obviously a lot smaller than the other ones. Um, I want to be grown for for size. So ideally, you want to be planting. 20 30 cloves of this one. It's got, it's got quite a few on, but I don't know if I'll get 20. Maybe I'll get 20. Um, but I'll see when I strip them down tomorrow morning. Um, when I do plant them out, I'll give them plenty of room. Uh, they don't like to be overcrowded. Um, just add some um, home, homemade compost, all the, all the garden waste that I've, that I've accumulated over the past couple of months. It's put in a box, compost it down. And then that's spread it across the garden um, where, where I'm going to be planting out my elephant garlic. And um, I'll, I'll do a video of that in the morning, show you how I'll do that. So I'll have a look at the onion bread that I put the onions in last year, this year, sorry. So this is me where I grew my onions. I don't think I'm going to be growing them in here next year. Um, so I've took the, the main old plastic off. Um, give it a good soaking. Let's get rid of some of the fertilizer. The quality of the onions that were in here were poor. I think it's partially down to the, the fact that the stock I got was absolutely atrocious um, from a well known um, nursery. I'll not mention any names, but I'll not be buying them again. 
Um, the setup was right, but I don't know whether it was maybe it's down to the soil or had some soil test done and it, it seems spot on, so I'm only assuming that it was down to the quality of the stock. But I'm not pointing any fingers. Kind of win them all. And apples. These are coming off. Now, I'm going to take these off. The perfect tasty apples. Fresh apples, can't go wrong. Store them in um, wood boxes and not touching each other. Keep an eye on them. And they should keep for a couple of months in a dark, in a dark shed. Um, need to start potting up some strawberry runners because it's way overcrowded this bed and I need to sort it out. It's a task that I need to do. It shouldn't take too long but needs done. You know, the compost. I've stocked up on the compost. I'm gonna cover it and then try and move it to a shed under cover because the rain gets on it and start and wash the wash the fertilizers out of it. So that needs done. And, um, that's it. That's everything in my garden for the day. Plenty of planning to do. Just trying to make time to do it all. See you there.